Hi, I'm now going to cover the topic of how to use the information button and the EPG functionality on the Zero box. Okay, this is sort of a nice little features on it. Um, if you just look here, um, there's um, an information button here and it's marked info. And the other button here that's going to be relevant uh, for our discussions here is the EPG button that's here. Okay, so the information thing uh, button on this, pretty basic I have to say. Um, you just come along if you... Um, if you're just looking at a program and you want to know what channel it is, pressing the OK button doesn't do anything for you. If you just press the information button, it'll just tell you um, the name of the, the channel number, the name of the channel, the time, and also the name of the program that you're looking at. Okay. Uh, now, if we um, uh, just hit info again to get rid of that. Uh, if we uh, come down at, to the EPG functionality, then we just press simply press EPG. Uh, and we can see anyway, we're just given a program guide here, a list of all the channels uh, today. So it's giving uh, from this time right now, from one o'clock, um, which is the current program that's on between one and two. Uh, and we have, we're given the option then of uh, previous and next, and by that, I mean previous and next day, okay? So um, if we come along here and we press the yellow button, uh, so we can see tomorrow um, at the Fourieverse program on is going to be on, on I'm sure, uh, on at midnight, and then Nip and Tuck's on after that, and another episode of Nip and Tuck. And if we press it again, it actually goes into the dates. So today is the 24th, then it says tomorrow, and then the 26th, and uh, it'll work through for a full seven day EPG. Now, if we actually say to ourselves, oh, this is quite interesting to us, we'll arrow over here. Uh, if we move down along here, we can see that it goes as far as quarter past eight in the morning. Uh, but if we go forward here, it'll move there. So quite a nice presentation of the particular thing. Uh, so if we arrow back out of there, uh, and we'll say we go up to RT1, uh, we can see it there, and then we can simply go use the green button to go backwards here, and uh, we'll pull it back into whatever day. Now, um, if I come along and say, and I saw a particular program that was on later in the day, uh, okay, um, so if I arrow back there, uh, and I'll say Fair City is on, and I'm a huge fan, we'll say. So as long as I have a USB key stuck in the back, so if you see this USB key that I'm holding here, or an external hard drive, I can at this point actually press, as you can see in the screen here, the red button key, and actually record this channel for us, okay? Now, I won't, um, uh, we don't actually have the USB thing connected now, and I have a later video that's gonna show the record functionality and things like that on it. But uh, in general, anyway, uh, you know, it's a reasonable EPG on this. It covers the seven days, no problem. But basically, all of the uh, generic uh, and the official uh, Servu uh, boxes have equally good seven-day EPGs. Uh, th this one here is quite reasonable. Uh, so that's it, an overview about the information and the EPG button uh, on the Zara 8010.